test, 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 test. I guess we're just going to have to uh, say goodbye to the Yankees soon. That seems good. That just seems good. All right. So I was just informed that uh, we were told, you guys were told we weren't going to stream or something, but I turned on the stream, so deal with it. That's how the schedule is going to be today. Uh, up in the air. A lot of late nights working on music. So forgive us for, why did I do that? Uh, forgive us for some miscommunication. I'm going to chill for a bit. I'm going to look at some of these particle systems in Unreal. Just cause. I'm about content browser. Check that out. Okay. This is what I wanted to do. I wanted you. Like these. All right. Um, I'm going to open this up. That worked. All right, uh, let me get chat up. This joining mint potion chat, I don't know what that means. Uh, sorry, we're on a connect chat. Reconnecting in four seconds. Okay. Who goes on there? Mint potion and nightbot are the viewer list. Okay, that's how that works. Uh, what do I got going on here? Okay, we're gonna get rid of this one. Oh, uh, if anybody out there knows how to teach Korean, let me know. I need to learn the Korean because uh, my mother is a Korean. And she does not, she did not teach me how to speak Korean and getting on in my years. And I kind of would like to learn. So maybe someday I can share it with other people. Cool. Mint Potion is a streamings. Watch now. See what's going on. I can look at myself. There we go. Look, at, look it, it's me looking at myself, looking at me. Of 
the assassins. Oh, it's the assassins. Assassin Schmied. All right, well, I'll share this when I get a chance. Hello. And cool. Cat's up and running. Assassin's Creed. Be cool if they had like Sumeria and stuff, like pre Christian stuff. That'd be dope. That would be dope. Share too. Where am I going to share this from? Disconnected from chat. Why would I be disconnected from chat? Facebook. Playing with. No. No. Unreal. If I could spell Unreal. Boom. That's done. What else? Sorry, Sophie, if you're getting this and you're like, what balls? Let's see here, tweet. I'm going to tweet this out. If you're in, let me know. Watchman Potion with me on. Yeah. Mint Potion. Studios. Tweet. Tweeted. How do I Instagram this thing? Let's Instagram. I can do all of them. Instagram. 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 I hear Ben wrestling up there, but it's too late. Too late. Yeah, I guess I can't do that with the uh, Instagrams. I guess I gotta take a picture of myself. Like, look at me. It's thumb streaming. Welcome to chat room. Okay, cool. So I'm here. I'm watching myself. What are you guys doing? Um, somebody retweeted it? Yeah, of course they did. So we're going to let it sit for a bit. Yeah. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. Oh. All right. So let's see, what do I want to do here? Um, oh, you know what I can do? I can do SoundCloud, right? That'll help you guys do stuff. SoundCloud, Cloud, Angry Crow. What is Angry Crow like listening to? Probably like smooth Kenny G jazz. Oh, there's the OK KO soundtrack. Should I, should I play that, Jacob Kaufman? Okay, I'll play that. <laughs> we ain't trying to like, like, blast everybody with it. There we go. It's cool. That'll be on repeat too, so you guys can hear the OKKO OK original soundtrack. That's pretty cool, right? Jethro, they got Jethro in there. Can I plug it? Sure. W w would you like me to plug? I, well, I'm. Yeah. <laughs> you know. I mean, you know. It's mid potion. We 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 did like okay ko. You know. You know. There's 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 you know there's a guy here that you know he does stuff, and you know you guys might have heard of it. You know, like shovel knight and okay ko and shante and all these other great things. So you know he's you know we do it. <laughs> <laughs> I should probably probably plug that, huh? All right, so <laughs> just just burning our lights. <laughs> so yeah, that's now is that on uh, just on SoundCloud? Okay, Ko, it's on uh, Sound SoundCloud. Did you guys know that the OKKO OK soundtrack, which has 10 tracks, volume one, that's it, that implies that there will be a volume two someday, is on SoundCloud? Did you know that? Mint Potion SoundCloud? What is, what is on Mint Potion SoundCloud? What is on this, this SoundCloud here? We got OKKO, OK OK and then we got separate tracks here. So you can find all of this on soundcloud.com forward slash mint potion 
if you want to fulfill your audio OK KO Let's Be Hero needs. Um, the guys that made the music are here in this building working hard every day to create more and more music. So. And it's crazy because I remember every one of these tracks. Every one of them. And the man with the vaporizer that makes them. Uh, so let's see, what do we want? We do a particle system, I guess? Third person side, sc side scroller. I don't know, what does is, what is Blank Project do? Let's see, Unreal Projects folder name. Uh, particles test. Do an underscore. Particles underscore test. We're gonna create the project, desktop console, whatever, start. Yeah, cool. Create project. Going on. All right, so let's, uh, I don't know, what's this? Oh, right, so we're in Unreal, so I gotta remember how to do all this, right? It's first-person shooter. Yeah, that's dope. All right, and then, wait. This is side-scroll, this is look around. This is back, that's here. This is here. Okay, cool, so right mouse and WSAD moves me around. That's, this is my control group, so W, E, R, Q is just select. No. I don't know what that did. What did I do? What did I do? Um, lit, uh, share perspective, share show, all that. Cool. All right, so let's go and find out. Tutorial points out each of the key interface elements in Unreal. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I don't care. We're gonna exit, nice. So what do we wanna do? We wanna create a particle system. Did I mention that we have OKKO on soundcloud.com forward slash mint potion? Did I mention that? Did I mention the man who did most of this music is no more than 30 feet away from me? Um, building a proton pack. All right, so we got creating a particle system. This document will cover the most common workflows of working with particle systems and particle system editor. Cascade. Ah, so that's the name of the Unreal Engine Particle System Cascade. Uh, links to more extension documentation are provided when available. They're not available. Tough, tough, tough. All right, so creating a particle system. So we go to uh, new, like folder. What does it say here? To create a particle, so left click on add new button. Okay. We're going to left click on the add new button, whatever button that might be. Uh, oh my gosh, it's not even here. Add new, particle system, click. Okay, there it is. Boom. So we created a particle system. This was a great stream. Um, kidding, kidding, kidding. You people are just so funny. All right. Create new particle set, add new uh, button on the content browser and select and right click content browser's asset view using the context menu particle system. Once created, the name of the new particle will be highlighted awaiting a new name. Wow, it's awaiting a new name. That's, that's like a lot of responsibility. Once a new name is entered or you click something else, the particle system's icon will update with no image thumbnail. Okay. Uh, you will be able to generate a thumb from within Cascade the Unreal 4 Particle Editor. Editor. All right. You know what would be interesting? Let's see. Let's let's look up. Um, what is a particle system? I know this is like probably redundant for you guys. Okay. A particle system is a technique in game physics, motion graphic, and computer graphics that uses a large number of very small sprites, 3D models, or other graphics objects 
to simulate certain kinds of fuzzy phenomena, which are otherwise very hard to reproduce with conventional rendering techniques. Interesting. All right. That's what Wikipedia says. Um, so now you know. If anybody needs to write that down or wants to, now on Mint Potion following tutorials. Razor 1911. Cool. How's it going, man? I uh, hope everything's going well. Watch, uh, watch me, yeah. Doing power block, New Ren. What is New Ren, you say? It's only the greatest virtual reality music. Rock opera. Rock, rock opera. Rock opera. Rock opera. There we go. Examples of such phenomena are commonly replicated using particle systems and fire explosions, smoke, moving water, such as a waterfall, sparks falling, leaves, fall, or right, sparks falling, leaves, rock falls, clouds, fog, snow, dust. So it's just, you know, it's the fuzzy stuff, as it says, where, like, you know, smoke is actually just trillions and trillions of little particles after a chemical combustion. So what is that? Well, how are you supposed to model each one of those? You know, when you could just randomly create uh, objects and then randomly have them, you know, generated and moved. Although random is a strong word. It's more of you're, you're planning the whole thing, right? Fire goes up, waterfalls go down. Um, that's pretty. That's pretty sweet. Some sweet sauce right there. So we're gonna double click um, a particle system in the content browser to open it in Cascade. All right. So I double click this. Okay. Boom. You know, I was messing with this not too long ago. This is all coming back to me. It's amazing. See, Mom? I was paying attention in high school. Um, all right. So now that we've done that, uh, adding emitters. Uh, to add an emitter, good particle system, use the content menu by right-clicking in the empty area in the emitters panel or by right-clicking an emitter. Okay. Add an emitter, good particle system. Use the context menu by right-clicking in the area in the emitters panel. Emitters, gotcha. All right, add new emitter. Okay, let's see how that works. In the emitters panel. Oh, here it is. Right-click, new particle sprite emitter. Ah, okay. So how do I, okay, so can I delete this? And I can't. So I right click off of this, right? If I right click on the emitter that's already there, it starts with an emitter, right? Then I get this contact here, right? So it's things like the emitter itself, uh, particle system, add new emitter before. Oh, okay. Delete. Okay. Um,. Add new em emitter after. Ah, oh, okay, okay. Slinky, slinky, slinky. Um, remove duplicate modules. Okay, so if, if these here, which I'm assuming these are gonna be modules, um, and we'll look into that, it will remove duplicates. I wonder if that's just duplicates in general, or is that duplicates like, oh, these have the exact same parameters are doing the exact same thing. I don't know, we'll find out. Uh, type data, new uh, anim trail data, new beam data, new GPU sprites, new mesh data, new ribbon data, uh, lock access, uh, axis, not access, but axis, uh, acceleration, uh, constant acceleration, drag, drag scale life, acceleration life. Um, I'm sure you can gather what that is. Um, they're pretty self-explanatory, though we'll see how Unreal does it. Uh, line attractor, particle attractor, point attractor, interesting. Camera offset, collision, actor collision. So I guess this is if you want the particles to glide off of something. Um, or maybe it's the object gliding off of, we'll find out. Initial color, initial color seed, color over life, scale color, and life. Interesting, all right. Events, event generator, event receiver, kill, when it done lifetime kind of the same thing although i think kill kills the whole object and lifetime just stops the emitter or maybe it's a time thing we'll find out 
Kill might be an event happens, right? Kill box, kill height, right? Who knows? We'll find out. Lighting, location, orbit, power size, best spawn, velocity, rotation. Okay, cool. So that's that. Man, these are good grooves. They're such good grooves. Nice. All right, so editing emitters. Left click on an emitter and its properties to show in the details panel. All right. Oh, I see. I see. So the details panel is over here, over, over there, all the way on what would be your left, um, which is my left, but pointing is anyway. Um, and this is spawn. So it has the spawn rate, distribution float constant. What does this do? What happened? Level this up. Okay, so now there's a lot of them. Just remove a kind of game new particle system. Well, that doesn't help in real. I appreciate your help. That does not help. Put it down to like eight. Okay, so yeah, it seems like there's less and they don't have as much of a spread. There's a whole lot more, but they don't spread as far either. So it's really just the number of particles I think, although distribution seems weird. Spawn distribution, I don't know. Let's go back to 20. Bam. Can be baked. Uh, can this variable be baked out to a F raw distribution? Should it, uh, should be 99% of the time. Okay. Rate scale, let's see what that's about. Distribution float constant. Uh, I don't know, it's a low number, so we'll try five. value of time. So what if I do 20? Huh. Seems to just not kill them within the same area too much. Yeah, it seems like it. there's a bunch here, but then they... I don't know. Interesting. Can be big. Okay. Apply global spawn scale. Cool. Alright. Burst. Oh. Burst. Instance. Interpolate. Interpolated. Instant. Interpolated. Instant. Interpolated. Array elements. Burst list. So you can add a adds elements. Count. Alright. Count low. Okay, time. Nope, not seeing anything. All right, well, whatever. Uh, burst scale, flow constant, process burst, okay. Cascade, what does that say? B3D draw mode? What is this? Uh, Maleficat, the Mad Cat, Meow, Ruff, Ropra. How you guys doing? Maleficat? How's that happening? How's it happening? How's it happening? How are things going? What's the haps? Um, saving. Wow, this thing automatically saves. You know, it'd be nice if like Reaper did that because Reaper constantly crashes on me and it, it it's infuriating. So, there's that. Um, okay. Particle systems. Okay. Editing emitters. Left click the emitter. Okay, so I did that. Reordering emitters. Okay, so let's play around with more of this. Lifetime. Assume this is the actual lifetime of this object. Minimum, maximum. Let's do maximum. Tippy. Yeah, see, now they're floating up. Okay, so minimum is where, like, it'll randomly select particles and it'll say, let's, we'll say seconds. So after one second, it'll kill some of them, but after 65 seconds, it's going to kill all of them. So it'll just randomly pick them at a particular rate. Um, and that's how we get this like effect where see like sailors particles are going way up in the sky. 
That's pretty cool, right? Like, look at that. Look at that. Way up in the sky. Ninja stars flying in the sky. That's pretty dope. All right, so now we're gonna do, we'll put this back to one, which is just that. Like, why don't we do like, let's say we want to try to get it so it goes up there. Let's try three, right there. Not too shabby. Getting busy messages, crazy messages. What's going on? Caleb, I'm gonna follow Caleb. Caleb's awesome. Um. Yeah, so that works, right? So three seconds by three seconds, all of them are gonna be dead generally in that area. It seems like a little higher, so maybe we could do like a 2.8, but that's being like a little kind of retentive, right? I mean, let's be retentive. All right, so 2.8, cause you know, it's a game, right? I mean, like things aren't always gonna work out like super even. Wow, one of, one of them just like floats off like way off in a nowhere's, nowheresville. Let's try a 2.1. So let's say like we have a ceiling here. We don't want any of these particles to touch that ceiling for some reason. Yeah, that worked. That's pretty good. So yeah, you can be kind of retentive about it, which is cool, right? Because units aren't always gonna add up. Time's not always gonna add up to particular unit or other units of measure. So, you know, might take a little longer, might not. Uh, module editor color. Oh, I see. So it's just the spawn lifetime, yeah. Gotcha. All right, what's this? Initial size, start size distribution, lock access. What if I do? What if I want to lock X, Y? What if I want to lock X, Z? What if I want to lock Y, Z? What if I want to lock X, Y, Z? Cool. No. All right, three ray elements, array elements, different, same. What does this do? Mirror flag, different, huh? Use extremes, can be baked. Start velocity, all right, so this is how fast they start. So it's Z up here, so I want, say, maximum 500. Boom, minimum. 250. Boom, look at that, they're flying away. That's pretty cool. And so because they're moving faster, but they're only being killed at a certain time, they're obviously over time traveling further than they would have had they been moving slower. So it's, yeah, you'd have to adjust for that. Um, very basic stuff, but I just wanted to let you guys know. Um, because I'm kind of discovering a lot of this myself. Good talk out loud when learning something. That way we know what, what, what the ball's going on. Um, 5.0. Alright, so the slowest is at 5. I don't know, what's, what's the rate of this? Just like units per second? Units per minute? Doesn't say. It'd be nice if they gave us, gave us that. Um, distribution is fine. Starting velocity, start velocity radial. I don't know. Let's find out what's five going to do. Oh, I see. This allows it to spin this way. Let's see. Let's do 70. Oh, minimum. Maximum has to be up to like 400. All right. And minimum zero. Zero. No, it seems like not much is going on. Maybe there's adds a spin to it. I don't know. Let's see. Velocity to apply to a particle. It's radial direction. Direction is determined by subtracting the location of the emitter from the particle location at spawn. Value is retrieved using the emitter time of the emitter. 
Right, but radial is circular. So is that a spin or is that it emitting in a circle? I don't know. Let's find out. Chronometer solo mode. Oh, I see. So one of them is the the, the blue. The other one is oh uh, oh uh, so smart yet not so smart. Cool. I'm glad you're just chilling, watching the stream. Um, feel free to talk about music, video games, events that have happened in the last week that you found interesting um, in your life. Um, remember that we have the HTTPS semicolon forward slash forward slash, or you can just go to soundcloud.com forward slash mint potion. We have the OKKO OK Let's Be Heroes soundtrack. Um, pick it up, listen to it, tell your friends. It's a great show. Uh, I don't really actually watch much TV, um, but I actually watch OKKO, OK and that's not me just saying that because I actually don't. And the shows I do watch are actually, I don't know. I've got good taste in TV. I'm sorry. I just have to say it. Um, so yeah, forward slash soundcloud.com forward slash main potion. Check it out, a lot of cool stuff. I'm keeping it on a loop, so you guys get used to this. I don't know who Dummy Rapper is. Um, in fact, you know what, I'm just gonna go to the Mint Potion. Um, is this playing? Wait a minute. Is this like playing, playing? Oh, I see, it's down here. Yeah, I got it, cool. Yeah, okay, good, we're up here. All right, so you can see the address here. This is what the page will look like. There's a beautiful mint potion with a heart in it. We have the original soundtrack for OKKO OK right now. Front and center. Um, we have a few albums in here. Or no, we just have that. Isn't that neat? Track. Yep. There you go. What was I doing? Right. I was doing particle stuff. Um, so we got we can create a new emitter. Let's see what happens. New particle system. It's gonna be the exact same one. So we need to futz with it. Um default particle. Wait, what's this? I saw a spark somewhere. A spark? Okay, there's there's a spark material in there. Okay, um, so I just clicked on the emitter itself. It's a particle emitter. Initial allocation count zero. Um, let's make sure that's the same. Yeah, generally everything is the exact same. Quality level, spawn rate, scale, detail mode low. Um, yeah, let's save this real quick. All right, um, emitter render mode, normal. Uh, what else we got here? Collapsed. Sure. Oh, I see. All right, lets you know that flap. Oh, and you can just click right here. So you can just click right here on the left and collapse everything up. So that way, if you got a whole bunch of things going on, right, you manage your space a little better. Uh, significance. I mean, it's a particle system. I don't know how significant it is to me. Okay, so required. You need a material. Emitter origin. I don't know what's going on there. Let's just put that to zero. Um, emitter rotation. Screen alignment. Minimum facing camera blend distance. The distance at which PSA, facing camera distance blend, is full PSA square. Cool. Maximum facing blend distance. Use local space. Kill deactivate. Duration. 
delay, sub UV, macro UV, rendering, particle out, cutout, cutout texture. I don't understand that. We'll, we'll mess around with that later. Oh, excuse me, man. I should have had coffee before I jumped on stream. Um, Mitter normals mode. Dogen. Dogen, 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 Dogen. Okay, I missed like a whole bunch. Sparks and stuff. Fancy, some type of fire maybe. Looks more like smoke since they just floating upwards. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just kind of starting it up here. Not a whole lot to see, but uh, I'm going to mess around with it. I mean, I'm probably going to break this at least a couple times, which, I mean, it, that means I'm doing a good job at learning. Um, so, some games use particle for water splashes. Yep. Not too common, though. Uh, I think the old Source games used to do that. Also, common used for impact effects. IIRC, Metal Gear Solid 2 did. Um... But the PS2 isn't anything like a modern PC. Ma, the moment the movement is customizable, though. They don't have to just float up. No, I oh, I know that they can go in any direction. Um, I can even add like physics reactions to it and collisions and stuff. So, but I'm doing like a really slow because I actually haven't used the um, particle system in Unreal for like a month. No, it's been a little less than that. I usually mess around with it once a week. I try to. Um, and I'll do some more, do more as I start getting more gear. So that's like, as is, you know, that's where I'm at right now. Um, I figure why waste, you know, Ben, Ben was up all night working really hard. So I didn't want to have to like go and wake him up and be like, Hey man, you got to come in and do this stream. Um, I can do it. Like I can do the basics. We can learn together, figure this out, see what happens. Um, so yeah, so okay, particle, cut out, normals, and materials. Okay, so spawn, this is where we want it to spawn, right? Constant, uh, this float will be re returned the value of time. So let's say 30, what happens? Let's say, actually, you know what, I don't like doing that. I don't like doing like just 10, so let's do 100. Um, there we go, so now we can see the sparks a little better. Um, baked, of course, rate scale. Distribution, float, constant, one. Let's do 10. Hit enter. Okay, so now we're really... You see how it's like, poof. Poof. So what happens is all these illuminated particles that come out, and then they disperse, and all of them cross. So that's pretty cool. I like that. Um, what else we got? And I can even go in solo mode, which is here. Right? That's pretty sick. We'll work on this one. That's the default. Um, so that's pretty neat. So this is just like, it's almost like the, um, the gas flame on a, uh, oil pump, right? Right, the oil, the oil pumpers, the little heads, right? Well, it, in oil drilling, there's, you know, natural gas is part of that process, and you can either collect it, which can be difficult, or you just burn it off, which is what they typically do. That's why you see the flames coming out of the, you know, the little collector guys. Um, what is this? The movement. Unfortunately, I'm stuck on a laptop, so I can't have some fun with Unreal. Really, is it one of those laptops? Like, it's not a laptop that really will work for you. Because I know what you mean. Like, I've got this like Mac at laptop just of my dreams. Like, just sitting on my computer. Like, I will get ASAP. Um, and then I want to rebuild my desktop, and then yeah, and then just be baller. I have no excuses, be able to work anywhere I want, which is the idea. Some laptops can handle it, uh, but Unity has particles too. Gotta love integrated graphics. Oh, integrated graphics. It's probably one of those Intel integrated graphics cards, right? That has like 16 gig, it's 16 megabytes of like video memory. And it's just enough to manage your desktop and maybe a few other things. Oh, and, and like Sudoku. Yeah. More of a pro so beefy CPU, but no graphics power. Oh, for sure, dude. For sure. You know. I was doing some programming earlier today. Messing around with string string class. Um, just cause. And then, what's the next one? Oh, vectors will be next. Vectors I'll be working on probably tomorrow. Tonight or tomorrow. Um, yeah. Gotta keep a lesson plan. Like, if I don't stick to a lesson plan, I'm garbage. So... Alright, so what do we got here? 
Particle emitter. Oh yeah, we're clicked back up here. So lifetime. The spawn, we took care of spawn. Lifetime. You guys can hear the music. I just want to double check, so let me know. Um, lifetime. So, okay, we did this before the lifetime of this thing. So minimum one, say maximum 10. So now it's just going to go up higher. See, now that's kind of cool. See, now extending the lifetime like that, we can really kind of see these particles, how they're going to affect. That's pretty cool. Look at that. They're all sparkly because there's, there's sparkles. Who doesn't like sparkles? I like sparkles. We'll do um, two so it goes a little higher. And see, we've been at two. You still get that kind of pulsing light. And spawn rate. Where are we at? 100. Let's see if we go like 120. All right, so we still get a, a, a big, we get a bigger burst, kind of, kind of. It settles pretty quick. Hmm. Scale rate. And we'll say uh, 50. Not too shabberoony. I like that. All right. Lifetime. We took care of that. Extended that. Cascade. What does this do? If true, the module should render in 3D visualization helper. Oh, I see. I see. Initialize. Initial size. Start size. Uh, 25, 25. Okay, so if we want these particles to get bigger, then over time, then we can mess around with this. So let's say maximum. Minimum. We'll keep the minimum there. We'll say maximum. 100, 100, 100, right? So now the smallest ones will be 25 and the largest ones will be at 100. Scale, I don't know again what scale that is. Um, 25, 25, 25. There's that. Lock access, no, we don't wanna lock the access, not yet. I want to see what mirror flags. Again, not much. So there's that. That's kind of cool. So we can change the spawn, the spawn rate, um, and we can do a burst. Oh, I didn't click on burst. Instant interpolated um, array element burst scale. First scale, let's do uh, 20. Boop. Boop. Interesting, let's do it to like 100. So if anybody's wondering, my favorite character in OKKO is Radicles. Cause he's like the dude, right? He's like the buff dude, use telekinetic powers, which is funny because like, he uses mind powers, right? But like he 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 has to be strong because he has to be able to lift. You know, he has to use his hands and stuff to like lift the stuff that he's pointing at. You know, um, and it's kind of cool. I like that. It's a cool looking, dude. You know, we each got our favorites. I think you know if you're if you're a fan of like a Goku or something, you'll definitely obviously like the main character. Okay, um, or KO. Sorry. Um, Wow, brain fart. It's too many O's and K's in that. Um, if you're, uh, yeah, if you're into like you know the mysterious you know female slacker type who's also pretty awesome and really, really intelligent but just doesn't trust people really. That's Enid. If you like the dude who wants to get buff, but is still kind of insecure and unsure of himself. Um, that's Radicles. Um, let me show you guys, because this is just like, Radicles is my favorite. I'm going to show you Radicles. Radicles. OKKO. Okay, 
This is the dude. This is the dude right here. That's the guy. Right? That's pretty dope. He's pretty sick. Alright, there's him with okay. Oh, this is a neat, like... Deviant art. I like that. Lord Zakes. Very nice. That's pretty cool. Oh, somebody like... Street Fighter'd him out or something? I don't know. That's cool. Haha. <laughs> There's one where he has like his biceps talking to him. It's hilarious. Talking to each other. I'm not going to get into it, but it's really funny. Oh, there's the strawberry lady. Yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. There's Enid. So, definitely a sick, sick show. Definitely sick. Oh, did I mention it's on SoundCloud? I mentioned the soundtrack on SoundCloud. I don't know if I mentioned that. It's on SoundCloud. Um, yeah, he's really cool, right? Like, he's just a sick, uh, he's a sick character. You know? If a show that's kind of meant for kids, I mean, generally it's meant for, like, I would say, kids, that still makes me think, like, oh, that's pretty cool. Like, I, I you know, that's a neat way of thinking of a situation or thinking of things. And it's, like, makes me laugh with the humor and the ridiculous, and the reference, like, the references are hilarious, you know? Good, I'm glad you like the SoundCloud plug. Um, I'm kind of new, not, well, yeah, I'm kind of new at this. Also, we have a patron. I don't know if you know this. We have a patron, Patreon, um, and a YouTube channel. Um, and a jacuzzi man with ginger beer, mint potion flavored, flavored, you know, drinks. <laughs> yeah, it's just, sometimes it's not. So we got, okay, so let's go back to Unreal. Sorry, I'm being distracted. Distracted monkey. I think I might be distracted monkey for a little longer. Because now I'm thinking, Dogen's in here. Garion's not in here, though. I kind of wish Garion was in here. I know I got a message from that person. Why are you telling me meow? Um, so I, I'm trying to think of what game I want to play for Flippy Monkey's fighting game, Phantasmagoria. And, like, I kind of want to play Marvel vs. Infinite, but not yet, you know? Like, not yet. We got this particle system going, but not yet. Like, Marvel Infinite would be dope. Destiny... When does Destiny 2 come out for PC? Let me check real quick. Destiny 2... This is what I... This is how I work, by the way. Destiny 2. Like, I'll be working on something, and then just, like... I'll be like, hey, what, what is this? And I'll just look it up. Um... Initial release for everything was the sixth. Um, PC release date. Can you can you give me that? Can you give me PC release date? Can you can you do that? Can you do that, Google? No, you're not gonna do that. Cool. Let me just type that in then. Yeah. That makes no sense. Oh, the Star Wars, the new Star Wars Battlefront. Oh, that's Battlefront Two. On wait, what? No. What is this? Why is Google your mental. It's October 24th. Okay. So October 24th, which is some odd days from now. That is two Tuesdays from now. Three Tuesdays if you count this Tuesday. Most video games come out on Tuesdays. If you don't know that, now you know. Uh, movies come out Thursdays. Music comes out Mondays. And I think comics are on Wednesdays. I think that's how that works, in case you don't know your entertainment release days of the week. Um, there you have it. Alright, cap lock is off. Um, I don't know, Robbie's playing a lot of Destiny 2. Um, so that sounds like it's probably pretty fun. Is it on Steam? No, it's on Blizzard, Blizzard Shop. So, um, yeah, here it is. Digital Deluxe Edition Game Plus Expansion, Expansion Pass. I don't even know, what's in the Deluxe Edition? even say probably like just a large pair of underpants right like wouldn't that be funny if like game deluxe editions just gave you like really large pair of boxers right they're like well you asked for it um and they weren't even like destiny 2 it was like halo 1 or something like it was just sitting in the warehouse um which actually these guys don't do halo anymore i wonder if they even like i don't know i don't know how that worked but um 
Yeah, I'm curious about this. And then I'm also curious about uh, Marvel versus Capcom Infinite. Yeah, Capcom Infinite. Uh, just bidding, right? That's Sonic Fox. Yeah, it's Sonic Fox. Isn't that sad that I can, like, I know the names of these players? Like, oh, that's Sonic Fox. Yeah. He's got the sillies. Anyway. Um, I know. It's really sad that I know that. See, now people are giving this game a terrible score. Um, which, you know, I'm going to be honest. Like, the fighting system, from what I've heard, the fighting system is really interesting, very versatile. And if you're going to play a fighting game, guys, come on. Cuphead's all right, but in my opinion, it doesn't seem to do anything that Contra and Gunstar Heroes didn't already do 20 plus years ago, except how it looked, I guess. Yeah, dude, Cuphead was all about the art. Like, I don't know what, I mean, that's, that's the thing. Like, it was all about the art, you know? I mean, I could think of some ways that they could have probably done, I mean, I haven't played it. Let's look at Cuphead. Now that you've brought it up, let's look at it. Cause I want to look at yeah there you go Cuphead it's only twenty bucks that's not too bad that's a, that's like my high end for buying a game all right so M D H R Studios or something how is the time now is the time sorry okay yeah kind of bullet hellish yeah okay yeah I don't know see like I think I would have added something which probably would have been horrifying. But I think I would have added some way of like being able to smear the art, right? Like all this stuff is happening. It's all this kind of crazy, you know, what is this? 30s style animation, right? Yeah, that's clearly like, I know, right? I don't know, man. Why did you make this music sound like Linkin Park? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, you know that's the thing right like I mean if you think about it right Cuphead has an overwhelmingly positive score it's you're saying the gameplay is I like it's pretty much redone but the art's amazing right but then you look at Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite people don't like the art but the fighting and the system is supposed to be awesome so what do people want like do they want gameplay or do they want art you know I obviously you want both you want you know the whole kit and caboodle but that's interesting right how you know, you got 450 reviews mixed of Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite on Steam, right? Most of these are probably negative, in fact. Um, in fact, I think Capcom is probably doing damage control, right? But the, the biggest complaint is going to be like, look, what? Netcode is shockingly good. Okay, that's, that's amazing. Character art was pretty bad, but it doesn't bug me. Okay, so there's a casual player sitting in a fan's game with a little practice. I can feel the weight of the buttons and calling for assists feels really good. The audio is bad though, okay? No, no, I'm not talking shit about him. I'm actually defending him here. Oh, okay. Okay. No, no, I know. I'm not saying I hate anything. That's not at all what I'm saying. I'm just... Okay, I will. So, but yeah, this is interesting, right? We have a game here that has mixed reviews that I think... But that what I've seen just from the professional pro gamer level and plenty of casuals, that it's cool, but artwork, blah, blah, blah. So what matters to gamers? And then there's Cuphead. What matters, you know? So we'll find out. We'll see what happens with both these games. Um, I think both of them will probably, like... Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite in the long run is going to do amazing. Like, I think that's kind of end of story. Um, easily going to do amazing. So, and I think Cuphead is a good start for that company. What is this? Hey, boys. What's up, dude? Alex EDM. What do you think of this song? Primal Records, Pentacore, All on Fate. Me, yeah, I'm just not on there that much. Oh, okay, so you are. Cool. Um... Right now we're playing the OKKO OK soundtrack, OKKO OK Let's Be Heroes soundtrack, um, that was released just recently. Um, you can get that on SoundCloud here at soundcloud.com forward slash mintpotion. 
This is the third time we're going through it, I think. We're just going to keep playing it. That's how it works. Um, all right, so. We have the size of the particles. We have what's ca Cascade going to do with it, and we have a way of editing the color for the module itself. So we have initial velocity. So what's going to be the starting velocity? Let's see, start velocity. Um, max min. So let's say the minimum velocity is negative 10. What's the, what's the, what's the, what's the lock axis now? Oh. Okay, so what if we change Z to zero? And we change Z minimum to zero, right? And then we take it and we say the maximum for Z is negative 20. Oh, and now it goes down a bit. Look at that. That's pretty cool. All right, we're in solo mode. No, we're not. We're in solo mode. Now we're in solo mode. Velocity. Okay, so now it's going down. So let's go negative 100. There we go. So now it's pouring down. So what if we just, let's, let's just zero everything out. Let's just zero all of this to zero. Okay, zero. Okay, and then the minimum will also do to zero, right? Okay, so the minimum will always be zero, which means it's just going to sit there kind of glowing. Nothing's going to move. So we want to go to the, let's see, 10. Okay, so that's going to make it go to the left. <clears throat> Let me do 100. Let's just do it in 100 so that way we can really see what's going on here. Boom. And there you go. That's easy peasy, right? Particle looks different, though. Looks a little different. Let's add a little bit of Y to that, 10. Okay. Let's add a little bit of Z to that, 10. Interesting. Right, so it, 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 it's flowing strongly in one direction, right? It seems like it's spread out, let's see here. Yeah, it's spread out a bit here. Right, but it's only going in one direction. So like, let's say the minimum Y will be negative 10. Negative 10. All right, so that should be a more even distribution of the Y. And it seems like it is. It seems like it is. Yeah, that's what I'm seeing here. Yeah, right? Because if I do like 100, or let's say I do 50, yeah, it's going to go in this direction more, right? So if I, but if I do this in negative 50, or and that's negative 5, negative 50, Right, so now it should spread evenly across like a, a floor, right? So I want to cover a particular area across a plane, right? And I'll just have it do that right across. The Z will go up, <clears throat> but it won't go down. So you won't have a vertical volume. Um, but we could add that if, if you guys feel like that would be cool. So we can do that. Negative 10. There we go. All right. That's pretty, that's pretty snazaroo. I like that. Oh, we're going to go this way. All right, here we go. Zoom in here. All right, okay. And then um, the negative Y, we'll just say like a negative one, right? So it's not emitting right off of the actual emitter point. It's kind of, you know, oh, it's this one. These are gonna kind of go forward and back, you know, forward a bit, but whatever. Not very realistic if we're gonna use it as a jet. Um, you know, kind of get that curling effect on that auto save and six save now. Um, so there's that. What else do we have? Um, we don't want to lock access or anything like that. Uh, distribution. Right, we did that. Okay, so starting velocity radial. All right, this is going to be interesting. So what do we want to do with this? Minimum. Let's do a thousand. No, solo this, homie. Solo this. Not seeing much of a difference here. Might be one of those things that like... Maybe it's like the spray back and forth, like that. Like it's just like how it distributes everything. I don't know. 
Fascinating. All right. That's the minimum. So maximum, let's do one. Boom. Okay. Let's do one. Let's do yeah, it's like rotating in the center there. That's cool. All right. I think that's way too high of a number. So we'll do 200. We'll put you back to 50. Yeah. All right. That's pretty cool. That's done. That's done. Uh, drawing module editor color. All right. So color over lifetime. Color over lifetime. Constant curve. Oh, I remember this. Okay. So. Out value. This really. Okay. Yeah, this really is what it really is. So we could do... We can do that. Do like an orange. Right? Okay. And then what's this? Oh. Not sure. Ah, oh, here we go. Okay. So here's another groove. So each of these are an array. So zero to one array. Got it. Got it. I'm with it. I'm not seeing everything else I am interesting all right uh, interpret mode curve auto constant all right curve user all right, linear can be big Alpha over lifetime. All right. Alpha is, you know, can it be seen or not? Your alpha tunnel. Constant curve. Is loop. Oh, I see. Oh, that's kind of cool. Was it doing that beforehand or did I miss that? No, it's being looped. That's pretty neat, how it like spreads down this That's kind of cool. Huh. That's pretty neat. Uh, was just saying they've got a channel for that kind of thing. Cool, all right. Thanks for helping him out, Razor. That's really dope of you. Very nice of you to do that. Um, very, very nice of you to do that. We got viewers right now. Goro Composer and Fagwent and Razor1911. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. I didn't know your mouse was a 1911. That's pretty cool. All right, so now let's check this. What was that? What was that? <laughs> really? What's what's Razor 1911 a reference to? All right. Oh, I didn't know that. All right. Do I look this up on the internet now, or is that not something we should do? 
Demo scene history, huh? Wow. Razor. 1911. I know, everybody's giving me a look now. Alright, calm down, guys. Huh. Is a wearer is and demo group founded in Norway in 1985. According to the U.S. Justice Department, Razor 97 is the oldest software cracking group. Um, I was born in 1980. Uh, cracking group that is still active on the internet. So they're the first guys to crack video games. That's pretty cool. Alright, the group was founded as Razor 2992 by Dr. No, Insane TTM, and Sector 9 in Norway in October 1985 as a Commodore 64 software cracking group. Shortly after, they changed it from 2992 to 1911 or 1911 or 2992, which translates to 777 in hexadecimal. Between 1987 and 1988, the group began to move away from the Commodore 64 and migrated to a new hardware platform, coding demos and cracking games for the Amiga. Oh, so they were just like on it. Uh, in the very early 1990s, Razor 1911 had made another transition, this time to the IBM PC. Foremost as a cracking group is still continuing to release crack tro loaders, demos and music. What is that? Crack intro. Why does it say crack pro loaders? Right, a crack intro, also known as a crack tro loader or just intro, is a small introduction sequence added to crack software designed to inform the user which cracking crew. Okay, now I know what they're talking about. Okay, now I know what they're talking about. Razor has supplied a group on diskette from 1992. Diskettes abandoned from CD-ROMs. Interesting. So they're the first dudes to do game cracking. That's pretty cool. I didn't know that. Uh-oh. Now I'm getting messages. Why well, am I getting messages? Twitter. Ew, Amiga Master Trace. Yeah. U.S. Department of Justice. Well, yeah. I mean, if you think about it, U.S. is strange with internet stuff. Well, I mean, that wasn't, there was really not much of an internet in the 80s. So, it was more of like copyright, I guess, right? So... Aquanet? Huh. Jake's like up to his ears in this stuff. I'm barely up to my ankles. So, and you guys seem to be up to your waists. Um, damn Twitch, keep getting network errors, having to refresh the page and then watch uh, an advert. I was gonna say, don't turn on an ad blocker if you have an ad blocker on. Yeah. I have to do that with when I watch anime. To turn off my ad blocker, because pages get all sensitive. Um. Okay, what was I doing? I was doing something with with this. Alright. Um, let's see here. I kind of like where we're at right now. I'm going to go for like another 15 minutes and I'm starving. So then I'll have a half hour from now, from when I'm done here. to when I go to my next stream. So I can eat something maybe. Um, so we'll do another 15, guys. Um, the money is going to Twitch. Wait, what? Money's always going to split. Um, that's why they have ads. They're the ad guys. Um, eventually you have content and then you just go for ads. Uh, let's see. Let's add like, okay, emitter, rename, particle, system. Okay, let's add a light. Light. Okay. So now that I have this light, I want to solo this. And now I have this light. Why does it unsolo when I add stuff? I don't like that. Okay, use inverted square fall off. Affect translucency. Whether lights from the module should affect translucency. 
Uh, prevent light radius. Preview light radius. Wow. That's quite the radius. Okay. Uh, we're going to turn that down at some point. Spawn fraction. Fraction of particles in this emitter to create lights on. Okay, so all of them. One, I assume. One, one to one. Color scale over lifetime. Okay, we did that. Brightness over lifetime. All right, so let's see. Um, let's save this and then go back to... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What if I just do this? Close mirror tab. Emitters. How do I uh, restart level? Okay, that's just that's just odd. We need to change this particle thing. I don't like it. Okay, first of all, we're gonna call this one Spark. Oh my gosh. Spark. Lure. And we're gonna hit enter. Boom. And then we're gonna change this one to, I was gonna say basic. Boo. But we're gonna call it um, generic. Generic. Can't spell generic without Eric. Um, and then we're gonna change Emitter color code, details, emitter name, initial allocation, as well as detail required. Right, we gotta change this. That's just terrible. Ceramic brush material, what's that? Okay, that's just weird squares. Compiling shaders. I know, right, Unreal? I just gave you something that you hate. You hate me for that. Materials, okay, dust door. Uh, explosion. Neat. Okay. That's supposedly an explosion. What we'll do is instead of having it go in one direction, we're going to have it go in all directions. Start velocity, start distribution. So we're going to go one honey. One honey. That's 1,000. One honey. We're going to go 50. Tab. 50. Okay, and then, wait, what? Okay. That's good. And then, start velocity radial. I don't remember that doing much spinning stuff. Um, we're going to turn this down to 50. Oh, I know what's going on here. I'm a jerk. So, 100 here. Okay, so now we need negative 100. Negative 100, boom. Negative 100, that's negative zero, which doesn't really exist. And another negative 100. So now it's kind of going in every direction evenly. Not necessarily evenly, yeah, evenly. Like it's just kind of randomly throwing stuff out. Um, gotta keep it 100. Uh, let's see, initial size. Size, start size, distribution, 20, that's just average. Uh, lifetime. What game am I gonna play for my Flippy Monkeys fighting game, Phantasmagoria? I mean, we could do more. Um, we could do more Path of Exile. But I also kind of want to, um, uh, oh, that's right, WSAD. Wait, what? Okay, what are you doing? Oh, okay, I see. Uh, 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 oh, no. There's that. These squares I don't like for the explosion. Kind of silly pants. But there is a light. You can see the light. It does have a glow effect on it. All right. So then, that's just a separate window. Interesting. So I gotta say this. Which one is this? 
My dad can beat up your dad. Huh. That's just silly. Um spawn rate. What's the spawn rate here? 20, let's say 10. A little less. Can be big. All right. This is what I think it is. Oh, it's all up. Wow, excuse me, guys. I really should have had some coffee or something to eat before this, but I wasn't thinking. Well, actually, I take that back. After I got done at the Y, I was driving down McBean. And there's this weird accident, like... I don't know, what is this? What is this street over here? I don't know. It's not Wright Canyon. Wright Canyon's over there. I don't remember what's over here. Is that Avenue Tibbetts? No, that's something else. Anyway. Came to the came to the intersection there and it was just like everybody was all stopped and it was backed up and then like I noticed there was this accident and I'm just like well great and it took me like 10 minutes just to like get out of that intersection I was like this is silly I'm the Y is like 10 minutes away so it's like doubled my trip I was like this is silly I shouldn't shouldn't have to travel 20 minutes just to go like five blocks but that's just the way it goes uh uh, catch up on that. All right, so we have two. We have two particles. We have two emitters. We have one particle system, but we have two emitters in it. Um, we can solo them. We can. What does that do? Oh, okay. This like determines which values that we see of each of these particles um, being like okay now we see where the particles go but they're just like targets so there's vectors that's the light if there's a light involved and there's nothing and then they're back okay that's cool um, really oh here I am over here okay yeah so what was I doing I was trying to figure out a way to Emitter, editor, color. Oh, that's, that's the editor color. I don't care about that. All right. Lifetime. We took care of that, sort of. Initial size. Initial drift. Initial velocity. Now we're changing the out value for the first particles, first generated particles in the array. Uh, and then now we are going to change the second, uh, like that. Well, we're going to do yellow, but not that. Just yellow is not a pretty color. So. We don't want things to be too yellow. Linear, pop out, alpha, cascade. Bada bing, bada bang, bada boom. All right, so we can change color. Why is this explosion so bonkers? Oh, maybe it's because it's in low detail mode? Let's see here. Oh, well, I have. No, you. Oh, whatever. Let's save this real quick. Save. Go over here. File, save. Save current. Okay. So, interesting. So it's giving us like the volume, if you will, of like these little wiggly, like this is where the particles are and this is like the gaps in between them and stuff. So that's pretty cool. Can we rename this? Just can't. 
We can name this Sparkle. Hold on. Sparkle underscore explosion. I mean, is there any other type of explosion you would want other than a sparkle explosion? Right? Um, we can play the game. Right, we're playing the, playing the game, playing the game. And there it is. There's our sparkle explosion. It's very, very much not as prominent as it seems to be everywhere else. Um, we have one light down there. You see it on the surface. Have these weird square things that are called explosions. I don't know, maybe I gotta turn the particle size down way, 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 way down. Um, that's pretty sick. That's pretty sick. Okay. So... What do we got here? Let's add, let me see what time it is. I don't wanna get too crazy. You know what? We got about five minutes. So, oh, so yeah, have a good night, Razor. Have a good night. Nice watching me. Thank you. I was about to say nice watching you too, but I can't see you. Thanks for watching though. I appreciate it. Remember, I'm going to do a little bit of a plug here again. Just a little one. Leave that up. SoundCloud.com forward slash mint potion. Okay, KO, let's be heroes. Original soundtrack, volume one. You know, when you're out at night with your friends, you want to sound hip. You got your car system bumping. And you're just like, you know what? I just, I just need to be super fly. You just, you just pop this, this on, and you're all good. You're all good. Is there gonna be a vinyl of this? Do you know, Jake? You know, okay. So, but hey, the more people that are interested, you know, the more people that are interested in this are gonna, you know, it'll help push things along. We'll have different uh, mediums in which you can listen to this. This sec. So, anyway, that's Particle Systems and OKKO. Basically, what we did is we just went into the content editor, added a Particle System, we double-clicked on the Particle System, it gave us all the options, and we messed around with it. That's pretty cool. I mean, it didn't take very long, it wasn't too difficult, it wasn't too painful. Um, I hope you guys, if you want, you can go in and make crazy Particle Systems um, in Unreal. Um, maybe neat little effects and stuff like that. You could do um, short videos. I mean, anything uh, with these uh, with with Unreal as far as like you know using the engine. It's pretty pretty craziness. So, um, like the sparkler, I like the square explosions. I'm gonna I saved this already. So, if we want to use it again for another another tutorial, we can continue where we left off. You can always add a million emitters. Right, like we could add smoke eventually. Uh, maybe we'll add like lightning effect. We'll do a lightning effect maybe the next time. Um, yeah, sounds good. So anyway, thank you for watching. This is the first time I think I've done New Ren uh, Power Block. I'm not sure. Uh, maybe the second or third. It's fun. I like doing it. I like putting this stuff together. Messing around with game engines is really fun. Um, you know, every time I open Unreal, it's like kind of like a kid in a candy store um, but then it becomes overwhelming so anyway hope you guys all have a good day I will be back in about a half hour to an hour doing Flippy Monkey's fighting game Phantasmagoria not sure what I'll be playing probably Path of Exile thinking about Divinity Original Sin I don't know could be anything keep your pants on for now uh, and I will see you guys later I'm gonna play the OKKO OK soundtrack for a little bit longer on stream um, let you guys hear that. Turn up the volume a bit. Turn up volume. What is this? No. Play this. What are we doing here? Right? This is the okay, okay singer. Yeah. yeah. Play that. Don't play anything else but that. Alright. You're level 100. That's right, guys. You're all level 100. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, we have a Patreon. If you want to give us a dollar a month, that'd be appreciated. If you don't, that's awesome. Just watch our streams. Keep up with us. Uh, share your ideas. And I hope you guys learned something. I will be back in a bit.